problem was 17.65. The passengers, the gondola, and the gondola, and its swinging frame have a total mass of 50 megagrams, a center of mass at G, and a radius of gyration of 3.5 meters. Also, A has a mass of 3 megagrams and can be considered a point mass. Um, find data when the gondola swings, when the gondola will stop moving momentarily, and at the very bottom of its swing, it has a omega of 1 radian per second. At the very bottom. All right, right here we have our free body diagram with our point mass at A and our gondola at G. Um, it's all rotating about B. You see the forces due to the weight at A and G. And right here we have the radians is one radian per second when theta is equal to zero degrees, which is this position right here. Up next, we have Another diagram, this time with it partially rotated, so it's to be after a couple seconds, or however long, we don't know yet. Um, over here we have the force, the weights split up into their x and y, or well, tangential and normal components. And we have the same thing with a point mass at A, and it's rotating about B. So, our first step is to set up our sum of moments about B. And that's going to be equal to our moment, our mass moment of inertia times alpha. So first of all, we're going to find that. So IB is equal to IG plus IA. Right here, the IG is found by using our radius of gyration. So mass times radius of gyration. And that's 50,000 kilograms times 3.5 meters squared. Oh, whoops. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> You're fine. And over here, we have I of A, which is for the point mass at A. And that's our mass times radius squared which is 3,000 times 3 meters squared, that's kilograms. And IB, the total of those two, is 639,300. 600, there we go. So, we plug that all in, not too bad. And it gives us alpha. And we have an equation for alpha, there we go. Alpha is equal to negative 3.67 sine theta. Here is our equation relating alpha and omega. Uh, you use the integral right there, uh, negative 3.967 sine theta equals one half omega squared. Uh, and that integral turns into 3.967 cosine theta plus a constant and those, that half omega squared. Uh, so to find that constant, theta equals zero when omega equals one. So you just plug those in and you find C equals negative 3.197. And plugging that back in to our original equation gives us 3.967 cosine theta equals 3.197 minus, minus 3.197 equals one half omega squared. And so finally, to find theta when omega equals zero, which is when it stops rotating about b, is this equation. Theta equals cosine, arc cosine, uh, 3.197 over 3.967. And that gives us a theta of... 30.14 degrees.